Hello, I made this video for several outstanding reasons, but of course you've come to expect that from me. Think about it, I've been hanging around Luke and that rubs off, and then you have Kristen praying for my soul daily, so there you go. Okay, reason number one, I tried to reduce the file size, but it's still 47 megabytes. Reason number two, this is much quicker than a meeting. Reason three, you can watch it on any device. And reason number four, you're going to be so amazed you'll want to add this to your favorites. I have mapped out, driven by, and dug into property records to identify homes with strategic locations and neighborhoods within Temple and Belton. Each of the potential ambassador homes are on the main artery of their neighborhood, and other prospects are each capable of producing over one grand in annual revenue. I've selected only a few for our first experiment. We'll test to see if nice lawn signs in these high visibility locations will produce leads. Will the ambassadors post on Nextdoor and their other social media properties? And will they host neighborhood tech talks? We'll also determine the time involved for managing the ambassadors. One of the first areas is Dawson Creek. There are two ideal properties on the main one-way roads into this subdivision. Better yet, one is already a customer. Monica has already agreed to allow us to place a sign in her yard. She loves her lawn and has a kick arse lawnmower. I will need to ping Brian and Vicki Johnson who live right across the way. This Next are some neighborhoods right off a popular road in Belton. Again, these are prime locations. The first home is on Pin Oak. It's owned by Vicki Harland. If she's not interested, I'll knock on Scott's door. He's right across the street. The second is in Legend Hoax. The homeowner is Miss Keener. Hey, look at those weeds. They are ready to be slayed. The next one could be a home run. This is on a main artery into River Place, one of the neighborhoods in Belton. We currently have two or three customers here. Cha-ching if we get a whole bunch more. Tom and Susan, have I got a deal for you. As you can see, we have a lot of potential clients in desirable locations. They're all lined up like ducks in a row for Nick and Dustin. There are a few main roads in Belton. Yeah, it's just that way. So side streets have become the road frequently traveled. 13th Street is one of those. The property selected has great visibility and curb appeal. I'll walk around the corner and introduce myself to Tom and Nancy. Valley Ranch. Okay, this is one subdivision we have to own. It's right on Highway 93. If we can get a sign and ambassadorship from anyone, if, if from two of these, they're both well positioned, we'll be in great shape. Here are two of the candidates. Major developments are going on, breaking ground right now for three new subdivisions next to Valley Ranch. Deerfield Estates. We have some customers there. Nick and I drove by one day, and, but there are many more for the taking. Having a sign at any one of these three locations would be great branding for us. Right across 31st Street from Deerfield Estates, I went by Jesse and Marsha's home. Their location intrigued me. A great spot for an emerald lawn sign. I drove around. It's an established neighborhood, but the other thing is there's some new developments right next door. Again, a target-rich environment for Nick and Dustin. They're all packed together. Now, here's one of those new ones I was talking about. There's just a few homes occupied and many ready for occupation. I'd like to circle up and see if we can work with a builder, maybe some realtors. I'm sure this has been broached before, but I want to learn the whys and why nots to see if it's worth our time. The same hold true for Legacy Ranch. This has only a few homes ready for occupation, maybe three already occupied, but this is a ground floor opportunity. I can envision a large sign right at the entrance. Luke, I'd like to chat with you about this. If you're interested, I'll do the gumshoe work, set up a meeting with Bobby, and we can see what we can do. Another one is Heart Tick Valley. This is right near where um, Nick lives. I drove through here, and all I could see was one $1,500 to $2,500 prospects. This could be another Deontes Crossing for us. That's where we have about like 11 to 12 homes, all in a high-brow neighborhood packed together. I have two prospects here in Heart Tick Valley, and I'll ask them about the Ambassador Program. Well, I wanted to share all this so we can chat. I'll work out the numbers for the incentive. 
My first thoughts is that we do the lawn program for the ambassadors, and then we upsell them on the tree and shrub program. By doing this, we break even right off the bat. Any other sales in that neighborhood are right on the upside. Hey, Luke, thanks for your time.